my name is Nick from Renshaw and I'm going to be showing you how to ice a sponge cake using our coloured ready to roll icing and we're going to create a Union Jack theme celebration cake today. What we need to do first is take our blue icing from the pack. So we've got two 200 gram navy blue icing. We're going to knead them together on the work surface so that the icing becomes soft and pliable. Once you're happy with the texture of your icing, just put it to one side and we're going to dust our work surface now with just a light dusting of icing sugar. And then just smooth around the icing sugar so that it's nice and level. So we take our rolling pin and we apply nice even pressure. So turning your icing as we go, this will help to create a nice circle to then drape over your cake. Ideally we want our icing to be between three and four millimeters in thickness. So once you're happy with your icing, just use the palm of your hand to smooth over the surface to get rid of any excess icing sugar that may be on the top. Also, if you do have any um, small air bubbles, you can use a scribing tool just to um, get rid of them. Just prick the underneath of the surface and then use your, your finger just to smooth away any marks that might be left. Okay, so once you're happy with your icing, we then need to bring in our uh, buttercream cake. We've used buttercream just to coat the sides and the top of our cake. This will act as the glue for our icing. So then you need to gently drape your icing over your rolling pin, rolling it back carefully. Bring your buttercream cake towards you and then drape your icing over the top and sides of your cake, releasing the rolling pin and putting to one side. So just remove any excess icing sugar from your hands and then gently buff the top surface of your cake Loosen it a little bit if you need to, and just cup in gently around to the base of the cake. You can use pressure with the palm of your hands. This will ensure a nice, neat fit. If you've got any small creases, just pull them away and just cup in. You can also use a smoothing tool. This is an icing smoothing tool. Um, and again, you can just use this to buff the top surface and around the sides of your cake. Again, if you do see any air bubbles, just your, use your scribing tool. I think this one's okay, so that should be fine. So now we need to trim away the excess from the base. So to do this, you need a sharp knife. And if you hold it carefully right at the base of your cake and into your icing, just carefully drag the knife around to get a nice neat edge. And then just take away the excess and put that to one side. Um, you can knead it into a ball and reuse that again. Just keep it in a, a, a polythene bag or some cling film. That will come in for, for the next time. So now I just need to wash my hands after using the coloured icing, ready to go on to our next stage. To add our detail to our Union Jack themed cake, we now need to take some white ready to roll icing and knead this on the clean dry worktop in preparation to roll it out. We need to dust the work surface with a little icing sugar. Probably don't need as much this time, so we'll just get rid of a little bit of it, put it to one side. And we need to roll out the icing. This time, we're looking for a long rectangle because we're going to cut strips to make a cross on the cake. So again, roll backwards and forwards. And we need to make sure that it's the right length 
to obviously go over our, our cake. So once you're happy again with the thickness, okay, so just put your rolling pin to one side and then we're going to use a sharp knife to create some strips to go over our cake for the detail. So we're just going to trim away the excess of one side and we want two strips for this initially and they need to probably be about three centimetres in width. So just do it carefully. If you use a nice straight edge knife, quite a large one like this one, you will find it easier. So we've got one strip and we're just going to do the same again, holding the paste at one end and just gently dragging the knife down towards you. Okay, so we're going to put that paste that we've rolled out to one side for a moment and then we're going to bring in our cake that we've already covered in blue icing. So to stick our white cross to our cake we need to use some cool boiled water. So just use a small paintbrush and gently mark one side and the other side and then again one side and the other side. So we are creating a pattern to stick our icing onto. So take the one strip of icing and gently press it into position. So up the side, across the top and down the other end. I'm just going to turn this around now so that you can see that I'm going to trim it with my knife. So just stick it on and smooth it over like we have done before. So using the sharp knife, trim at the base of the cake so we get a nice neat finish. Just remove that excess icing and do the same the other side. Okay, so now we need to repeat this. So we're going up the sides and down the other. Again, just trimming to make sure we've got a nice neat finish at the base. If it comes away, just stick it back down again. And because we've got this little gap in the middle here where we haven't put any water on, we're just going to trim that so we haven't got too much icing. And then we're going to just gently bring that together so you can see we've got a nice neat cross now. Okay, so we now have to add the other detail to the cake. If we take our icing that we've all already got rolled out and we're going to cut two strips now. These are going to be approximately one and a half centimetres in width, so a little bit narrower. Gently drag the knife down the paste. And so this time we're going to apply our white icing strips on the diagonals. So again, using some water on a paintbrush. So we've just got cool board water here. And so we've got to take our, our strips of icing and gently place it over the cake. Okay, trim away the excess. And then in the centre, we've got quite a build-up of um, icing in the centre. So we just want to trim away some of those um, excess pieces of icing. Using the edge of your knife, trim some V sections. And we're just going to remove that centre piece you can see there. And then you can just press it together with your fingers and do the same on the other side. So again, Okay, so once you're happy with that, you then need to go and wash your hands because we're going to apply the red detail to the cake now. So we're going to use our red coloured ready to roll icing now and we need to warm this icing up again on our work surface. Okay, so we're going to dust our work surface with a little icing sugar, not too much. Rub your sugar around a little bit. 
take your rolling pin and gently roll out. So we want this to be a rectangle again as we're going to add the red strips to our Union Jack cake. So just keep it moving on your work surface. So you want a nice long strip. Just remove any um, traces of icing sugar with the palm of your hand or again you can use your scriber tool at this point. So we're going to take our sharp knife, just move the rolling pin out of the way. So we've got our sharp straight edge knife and we're going to once again create a nice straight edge to work to. So removing the excess. So again, you can use a ruler to measure this if you're not confident. So nice pressure on your knife, dragging the knife towards you. And now we're going to stick these into position. So we'll bring our cake back again and have it towards, towards you in the center. And using our cool board water, we're going to gently mark over the white. So in the middle of the white icing, we're going to use our paintbrush. So this is going to act as your glue. Okay, so once you're happy with your um, pattern that you've created using your water, take your first red strip and ensure that it's in the center of your white and place gently over the cake. So we're repeating the operation that we've already done with the white icing. And then we just need to remove that um, centerpiece again like we did before. So just take your knife and cut either side very carefully to remove the center square. Okay, so now we need to do the diagonal strips. So this time we're gonna cut slightly narrower again to enable them to fit in the lines of the white. So using the knife, so we've got one and we do another one. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna cut these strips this time, we're gonna cut them in half because we need to um, join at the points. So one, two, so we've got our four strips of red for our diagonal. So this time we're going to put them slightly to one side. So we're going to add the water onto the white icing for sticking your sugar paste in position. So we're going to add the first one. So you can see it's slightly off center just to create a little bit more of an effect so we just repeat that all the way through and then what we will do is trim accordingly in the center so there's a, just a slight gap in the middle so now what we need to do is using um, the point of our sharp knife just to um, trim away the excess red so we're going to leave a small gap between the red and the white joins. So you can see it just creates a nice neat finish. So just repeat this all the way around. So we've got a nice point, ensuring that you have got a nice neat finish and you're happy with your finished design. And that's how you create a Union Jack themed celebration cake.